estimated that over 600,000 students graduate from universities and other institutions of higher learning in Uganda every year. Some of these students are sponsored by government or have acquired government-facilitated incentives like study loans. It is estimated that out of 13% of graduates who are ready to work as professionals or technicians, only one out of four get employment. At a public dialogue on the link between higher education and national development held at the office of the Prime Minister, the Deputy Governor of Bank of Uganda, Louis Kasekende, said that the continued government expenditure on education, especially at tertiary level, is not sustainable. Uganda educates far more people at tertiary level than can be productively absorbed by the economy, given the current level of development. This is both a waste of resources which impedes economic development and is financially unsustainable. However, some experts have a different opinion. Certainly for me, I would rather be advised by semi-educated uh, graduates than a thousand illiterate. So, I mean, <laughs> so you cannot tell me that it's the numbers are, are many. As a way to increase the number of students who enroll for undergraduate and diploma courses at public universities, the entry points were lowered to two principal passes. This, Kasekende says, has watered down the quality of degrees. Raising steeply the academic requirements for students to enter higher education so that only the most academically able gain entry. This would reduce the numbers of university students and ensure a better match between graduates and the demands of the labor market. Professor Lea Bulguju has more than 40 years of experience in the education sector, revealed that a white paper on higher education and its relevance to the economy was written 25 years ago, but has never been revised to meet the ever-changing demands and needs in the job market. For the 42 years I have been in higher education, I have never enjoyed myself in any single day. We have inadequacies everywhere. When I was in engineering, we cannibalized all of the equipment until we could do no more. Okay? And whatever we got, it was external donation. Other discussants shared their views on the gap between education and the economy. So you find that $2 billion of borrowed money is all sent outside. Whereas if government had said, look, 30%, 40%, you spend locally. $800 million would be rotating in Uganda today. And what would that do for employment? That would do tremendous amount for employment. It tells most of you uh, uh, have been in the, most of these hotels in Uganda. Uh, majority of the management staff are not Ugandans. Some experts say that it does not make sense for government to continue giving study loans to students who complete universities with degrees and degrees, yet there are no jobs or job market to absorb them. And this is coupled by another challenge of a policy which requires students who have acquired loans to clear with or without jobs after graduation. What we have in the budget this year is that the loan scheme has no money. Can we have students that come out of school with loans with the structure of an economy that takes you 10 years to get a job. So what should be done to intertwine education and national development? The government should finance innovations so that graduates who get out of universities should employ themselves and employ many other people who are seeking employment. Still, Yarhanga, NTV.